If you're a photographer, you're never happy with what camera you currently own. You always are looking for the next camera, more megapixels, more resolution, but do you actually need it? Can you actually see those additional megapixels? In today's test, we are going to answer this question once and for all. A few years ago, I proved that you need less than two megapixels to fill up a billboard. I know that sounds crazy, but it has everything to do with viewing distance. You're so far away from these billboards when you're driving down the highway, you need less than two megapixels to create a sharp looking image. But in that video, I did mention poster prints, large prints that you hang on the wall that people can walk right up to and put their noses on. How much resolution do you need for something like that? So we went to Sal Digital who produces world-class photography prints and we printed out six different 24 by 36 inch prints of two different images. The first image is a 77 megapixel image taken by Patrick and this image I created as a pano using multiple images from Fujifilm's medium format 100 megapixel camera. This file was over 250 megapixels. So we printed the first image at 77 megapixels and then scaled it down to 16 megapixels and one final print at eight. And the second print we printed out at over 250 megapixels at 16 megapixels and at eight megapixels. We marked on the floor six feet, four feet, and two feet from these prints and then invited a ton of people over to come look at them and tell us if they could see any difference between these prints. I see no discernible difference. My mind wants it to go like good, better, best, right? All of these look pretty much the same. The last one is the lowest resolution. It's my guess. I'm not confident at all. This looks higher res, but maybe it's just the angle. Like I thought that one was the clearest, but now this one looks kind of clear. I'm trying to look at the little things, you know? So there's a math equation that tells us exactly how much resolution the human eye can resolve over a certain distance. I don't like to math too much, so let's instead look at this chart here. At two feet, you can see that we need 300 pixels per inch. To figure out how many pixels we need in one square inch, we multiply 300 by 300 and we get 90,000. If we wanted to know how many megapixels we would need to fill up a four by six print, we multiply four by six and get 24, and then we multiply 24 by 90,000 and we get 2.1 million or 2.1 megapixels. For an eight by 10 print, we multiply eight by 10 and get 80. And we multiply 80 by 90,000 and we get 7.2 million or 7.2 megapixels. And to fill up our 24 by 36 inch print, we multiply 24 by 36, we get 864, multiply that by 90,000 and we get 77 million or 77 megapixels. Now, doesn't that prove that we need a lot of megapixels to fill up a 24 by 36 inch print? Well, kind of. Although it's possible for people to see 300 pixels per inch at two feet, that's the best case scenario. And when you're trying to appreciate a large print, you're not gonna be able to see it from two feet. You're gonna have to step back significantly to see the entire print. Realistically, you might stand six feet away, and at this distance, you only need 90 pixels per inch, which works out to just seven megapixels. The funny thing is, is that in our real world test, even when these people walked right up to these prints, they're just a few inches away, they still struggled to see the difference between an eight megapixel image and a 250 megapixel image. This is so your nose, hard. Your nose is practically touching this thing. This seems like not in focus as much as those two. Well, now this looks more clear. Now, everyone was capable of seeing the difference between the prints when we pointed out exactly what to look for, but every single one of them agreed that they would have been completely happy hanging the eight megapixel prints on their wall and that they would have never noticed that the resolution was low and they probably would never even walk up this close to a print to begin with. They would have been standing many feet back. The bottom line is that it is possible to see over 50 megapixels in a 24 by 36 inch print, but in the real world from a realistic viewing distance, you're not gonna be able to see it. I'm not gonna say that there's no point to high megapixel cameras. I still want one myself. But if you've got some cool shot and you've been thinking about printing it, but you're worried because it's not super high resolution, maybe you don't need to worry. Go ahead and print it. And may I suggest Sal Digital. We've been working with these guys for years. They do world-class photography prints on 
tons of different types of papers. They also do albums as well, and it is shockingly affordable. I think so many photographers fail to print out their images because they're worried it's going to be expensive. Check it out, guys. It's really not that bad. I put a link in the description below with a discount code just for you, and I hope your prints turn out well, even if they were taken on your iPhone. And while you're at it, go ahead and submit your photographs to our photography contest. This month, specifically, the genre is unique lighting. Whether that's man-made lighting, whether that's natural light, we want to see photographs with super interesting light. It's totally free to join, and every month we're giving away thousands of dollars in prizes. This month we're giving away $2,500 in Pro Photo lighting modifiers. Check it all out at fstoppers.com contest.